I just found a new screen in the truck I want to show you guys because this is super cool. It's the screen that shows how much your regeneration is working. And I know this is what I'm finding with this truck. In the eight years since I bought the Mitsubishi, it was always better to coast in the Mitsubishi. You could coast further and save more energy than you would gain by regening back some energy. It just wasn't, it was a no contest. But in this truck, in fact, it is the opposite. I want to show you guys, the regen is so powerful when you've got one pedal driving on and it slows you down um, and you can learn to adjust how fast you slow down. If I'm coming up to a stoplight 200 meters ahead and I slowly coast into that, I know I'm gaining, you know, quite a bit more than I ever did in the Mitsubishi. I can show you guys that right now. I just found the screen, didn't know it was here. So just a couple of things here. The last six kilometers, I came down an old dirt road here. I'm doing some photography today. And look at this, 6.1 kilometers driven, 3.6 kilometers uh, per kilowatt hour. That's not bad. Look how much regen we regenerated, 2.3. And that was just me going down some hills and slowly, you know. So in six kilometers, we regen 2.3. Absolutely crazy. And I'll show you guys, I turned the heat on because it's cold this morning. Um, I turned the heat on for five minutes and we used 13% of this trip so far. And I can't actually show you the trip because I shut the car off. Uh, we've actually probably come about 25 kilometers on this trip. So, But every time you get out, and even if you don't want to shut the vehicle off, you take your foot off the brake, you put it in park, it shuts the vehicle off, and then it resets your current trip. But I could be resetting this one manually. I'm not. This is the total amount of kilometers we've driven since I bought the truck. And this is this week's totals. So actually for this week, I'm averaging four kilometers per kilowatt hour. That's pretty darn good. Now that I found this energy efficiency screen, I'm obsessed with it. I just went another 11 kilometers. And I'll show you guys, this is crazy how much we're regening. So another 11 kilometers down the backcountry road, our average was 4.4 kilometers per kilowatt hour, and we regened 2.9 kilometers worth of energy. That's 27%. That's crazy good. I want to do a little experiment here, guys. We're leaving the back roads and we're hitting a secondary highway, and the speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour on this highway. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go a little bit more than that. I'm going to go 85 and we're going to do something called hypermiling. So we're going to hit 85. I'm going to take my foot off of the gas very slowly till we drift back down to 80. Then I'm going to accelerate back up to 85. And we're just going to continue doing this hypermiling for the next 20 kilometers or so. And I want to see how much do we regen on the highway? What kind of numbers are we looking at? I know this truck gets on the highway with the Tanu, yeah, probably gets about 3.4 doing in the 80s. As soon as you get up to 100 kilometers an hour, uh, we drop down to like 3.2. And then if we start doing 110 or 70 miles an hour, for my American friends, we drop down to like 2.9. So let's just do a little hypermiling test and see what we get for numbers. I'm surprised at how much this truck is regening. So I've reset our energy efficiency page here and we're gonna hit the highway and see what we get. Yeah, 59 kilometers to Quebec. We could go get some cheap beer. Okay, so we hit 85 and I'm just gonna slowly take my foot off the gas until we get back down to 80. Then we're gonna accelerate back up to 85. And then let go and go back down to 80. Okay, so it wasn't quite 20 kilometers to Grant's Road where I had to turn off the highway. 17.1. I'll show you guys the stats. And it's annoying to have to go up and down with your foot all the time. Hypermiling is not fun. Eh. I used to do it in the Mitsubishi a lot because we were coasting. But when you're regenning, you slow down so quick, you're constantly pressing and releasing the gap constantly. So I'll show you these numbers. And it's 14% is what we regened. 
not as efficient as I was hoping it would be. And I think that if I just drive where I try to kind of do the hyper mile, maybe, but hit the coastline, and then when you're going down hills, let it regen, but try to maintain your speed more even. So really, not really hyper miling, just maintaining my speed, I guess. When we go back to town, we'll do the 17 kilometer test and we'll just try to do that, maintain my speed where I go up and down, much slower version of hyper miling with some coasting in there and regening just on the downhills and see what we get there. 14%, check out these numbers here. So we went 17 kilometers on the highway, 3.4 is our average and 2.4 kilometers regenerated not as efficient as i was thinking the hyper miling would be okay so i'm just doing the return trip back to town test and we're i'm trying to coast as much as i can and not regen so my speeds are actually much higher i'm going downhill right now a very gentle downhill slope so i'm hitting into the low 90s when i'm coming down these hills it's much more enjoyable to drive uh, hitting the coastline instead of trying to regenerate because when you're hypermiling, you're up and down all the time. This is I just take my foot off the gas until it starts coasting and then I let it coast. So that part is much more enjoyable. We're actually going, I think, feels like we're going a little faster overall. I don't know what our average speed is. I'll show you the numbers here when we're done. We've got another two kilometers to go. Okay, so there's our trip back into town, 17 kilometers, 4.2 kilometers per kilowatt hour. So we were quite a bit more efficient. We're gaining 0.6. No, wait. So we're actually, we were 3.4. 0 0.8 of a kilometer more per kilowatt hour using coasting, but we still regened 1.8 kilometers. Most of that 1.8 kilometers was this last 500 meter stretch. You come down a hill into town and I had to slow down because the speed limit changes down to 60. And literally in the last 500 meters, that's how much we regened. I was at 0.3 for the first 16 kilometers. So it's very hard to do this test. And, you know, we gained almost as much here in the last 500 meters coming down a hill as we did going the whole 17 kilometers out to Grant's doing the hyper miling. So I don't think the hyper miling is worth it at all. I think what's skewing the numbers here, guys, is that we would have to do this test again and take the numbers as we're still driving down the highway. Because when I pulled off the highway both times, just coming to a stop, we regened probably close to a kilometer worth of energy, plus the big hill coming back into town added even more um, so that's really skewing what I'm looking at here. But what I'm seeing is that coasting is more efficient. It definitely, we were getting 3.6 on the highway versus 3.4. That I know from coasting. I looked, that was before we came off the highway onto the side of the road and regen a whole bunch of stuff. But the regen is very powerful in this truck. And I think the best case scenario you're going to get is coast when you can on the highway but if you're going down a big long stretch and you can put that uh, one pedal driving meter just slightly into the regen zone then without losing a lot of speed if you can just lose a little tiny bit of speed you know or maintain your speed if you have enough of a grade that you're going down then you're getting the benefit of both worlds you're still gaining all of the coasting miles and then you're also using the great regen in this truck when possible. I think that's the best way to go. I think my test was a little skewed just from the amount of energy gained when we pulled off to the side of the road to stop the truck. The final thing I want to show you guys is the truck's driving itself right now. We're going to come to an off ramp and I'll show you the numbers of where we're at in terms of how much we've regened. And I'll just show you, you guys can watch it go up as we come onto the off ramp and then come to a full stop, uh, which is probably maybe 400, 500 meters worth of off ramp and then stop. This truck regens a lot. Okay, so we are on the highway doing 100. 
Our off-ramp is coming up right here, so I'm going to take my foot off the gas right now. And we're at 3.5. And I'm just regening enough to keep us moving. still slowing down we're still regenning now we're going to be regenning more as we come to the stoplight here all right so from 3.5 to 5.2 so we gained a kilometer and a half in a 500 meter stretch there coming off the highway good morning guys look at that beauty over there many of you would think that truck couldn't get prettier but you're wrong because today I got something I ordered huh the new aero skin hood deflector so I'm going to sham wow the front of this, clean it up, dry it up real good. And then we're going to stick that on there and I'll show you the before and after. Okay, so here's our before shot. Pretty, but not gorgeous. So I did wash and dry the hood, but then inside are some alcohol pads which say avoid eye contact may cause eye irritation and it's isopropyl alcohol so not a big problem there that's not the concerning one this surface prep is the concerning one avoid contact with skin and wear appropriate gloves cancer and reproductive harm warning i'm still going to put it on the truck because it says you have to but i will throw some gloves on eh, mucho bueno oh yes look at that sleek what do you think mr gage did i do a good job he says, yes, beautiful. There is a mistake there, but I'm not gonna show you. And if I don't show people, they'll never notice. Only I have to live with it. This is a new one on me, guys. I just got a report from OnStar and it's got some cool things in here. And it tells me that I offset 430 kilograms of CO2 this month by driving the truck and we saved 185 liters of fuel. If we do the calculation of $1.30 a liter, that works out to $240 I saved this month by just driving the truck. So all of these things are already in line with what I told you guys. We've already done the calculations as far out as the seven years, so we know how much we're gonna save, $28,000 over the next seven years. But it's cool to get a little report from these guys showing it's backing up the numbers that I already calculated. And the offset in CO2 is a cool one. I haven't done those calculations yet. So one tree worth of CO2 we offset this month by driving the electric. Okay, just doing a little test in the electric Silverado this morning. I gotta go pick up my daughter and she's at the top of Airport Hill. Well, that should tell you that Airport Hill means it's a mountain. It's over a kilometer. I don't know what the degree of attack here is, probably like 50, degree grade I don't know it's a very steep long uphill and I want to see how much energy the truck uses to get to the top of this hill probably a kilometer to a kilometer and a half climb here so I've reset everything we're going to climb the hill we're going to look at the numbers of what we use to get to the top then I want to see when we come back down the hill how much do we regen we're still climbing so we've come 1.2 kilometers and we've used four kilometers off the gasometer and we're still climbing. And right here is gonna be the peak of the hill. Right. There, so 1.7 kilometers, 
and we took five kilometers off the gasometer. Okay, so I did my running around at the top of the hill. We're ready to go back down. I didn't show you guys last time, but I'll show you the gasometer. I drove until it just set to, to a new, new number. So 501 is what we just turned to. We're going to go down the hill and see how much we gain now. 501 on the uh, gasometer and the current tripometer is reset as well. Zero, zero. Let's do this. I don't see these kilometers going up at all. All right, there we are, right back where we started. 1.7 kilometers, average efficiency 4.9, so that went way up, but we actually didn't gain anything over here on the gasometer. So weirdly enough, we've driven another two kilometers, but we still haven't lost any off the gasometer, so I'm not sure how it works. I guess it's doing its own balancing act here. Okay, we've driven three kilometers, still showing 501. Okay, so there at three and a half kilometers, it finally changed. We finally lost a kilometer on the gasometer. So 3.5 kilometers gained coming back down that hill makes sense to me. I figure that's somewhere around what we would get. So if you subtract that from the five that we used to get up the hill, yeah, it's not terrible. I mean, is the truck neutral in terms of climbing a big hill like that? No, it's always gonna cost you more energy than you're gonna get regenning, but the regen system in here, in this truck, is better than in the Mazda and in my Mitsubishi. It's much more powerful. So to get 3.5 out of 5 kilometers back, that's not bad. 